What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, people. I'm back in the building. I'm giving you another little podcast here. I enjoyed, you know, I quit doing podcasts for a minute. I don't know why. Well, uh, hold on. Here's the reason why I quit doing for a minute. Because this dude wants more airtime. Come on in. I know you're going to come. There it goes. Good luck, Jonathan. I keep giving him his little pub and everything. But uh, I enjoy doing these little podcasts. And today I'm talking about the, the loophole and the, and the and Obama's little gun deal here. And I'm going to show you who's going to be the loophole. Right there. We're talking about the doctors. And right now, the doctors, there's a doctor loophole in his executive order. Say your doctor feels, and I'm going I'm I'm to I'm use this broad statement, but it's true. But then I'm dissecting the thing a little bit later. Say your doctor feels that you should be in a position to own a gun. He can he can thereby take you your ability to own a gun, even though he may not you may not feel like that. That's what I don't agree with. Now, let me go to, uh, even further. Say the say the doctor. Say say like certain people like say they do this. You can ask you, you can ask doctors. They do. I mean, we'll ask doctors behind the scenes. Say, say government agents come in there and they're going, they're just going there because it's a regular checkup. Well, they can, they're going to question these doctors. Well, how about your other patients? How are they doing? Or maybe they know a patient is, has problems with the government. Maybe they know a certain person isn't fond of how things are run or being right. What they can do is they can go to that doctor and they, they, and they, and this has happened before, so don't act like, they, I mean, as far, not as far as guns, but as far as, ask them about their patients. They can ask about their patients, and maybe you have a patient that really doesn't agree with, you know, with a lot of stuff that's going on in America. Not really militant, but not really, you know, not, you know, it's American, but not really, you know, down for what's going on. So, now comes the gun law. Well, they'll say, well, how bad is he? Well, he may not be bad, but to every, everybody in the government is bad here. You aren't top of the party lines. So now, the government's going to put the pressure, and don't act like they're not going to do this. The government's going to put the pressure on the doctor to take this gun, the guy's guy or woman, the lady or gentleman's gun rights away from them. That's why I don't like. That's why I don't like the doctor loophole in this because now it's up to the doctor, or, or even say, even say you have a debilitating disease. The doctor can still take your gun or your gun rights away. I mean, like I said, me personally. If you're if you're mentally disabled, that's one thing I can understand. I can understand if like we have a mental disease, but the laws are written. Every law that is written can be translated, and it, it's in every law that's been or any executive order or laws can be interpreted different. Homeland Security, for one, was put together to go after the terrorists overseas, right? But how come more Americans are arrested and under detainment? than the terrorists are. See what I'm trying to get at you? Just because it sounds good doesn't mean it is good. And in this, in this little loophole, I, I have to disagree with. I think Obama is picking his jaws. If you really want to clean up the guns, it starts with the it starts with the cities, it starts with the neighborhoods, it starts with the people who are using guns illegally. Going after, going after schmucks in Iowa and Indiana to own guns legally is not the way to go. And going, going the loophole here with the doctor is definitely not the way to go. The fact of the matter is this. Well, maybe your doctor, maybe you, maybe you argue with your doctor once in a while. I mean, I don't argue with my doctor. Now I'm never going to argue with my doctor. And say your, your doctor is feeling you're a little hard-headed. Well, how do you know you going to say, well, you need to take your guns away from me? And what's the process of taking your your guns away from you? Look, doctor feels you shouldn't own a gun, so you got you got. Who's gonna be knocking on your door? The sheriff, the DEA, the FBI, the cities. The, the fact of the matter remains is I don't I didn't like I don't like this little loophole, and I'm sure there's gonna be more little loopholes to come because, like I said, this law can be interpreted in any type of way, and like I said, it, it's not in your favor. The fact of the matter is this. Doctor says, "Well, he's been sort of. He, he says, well, he's not 100 percent American as far as you know. He's mad at taxes, this, that, and the third. Right then and there, they're gonna write your name down. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe some type of government agency has, has you know, you've been up thorn in their side. Well, maybe they will, will, will nudge the doctor a little bit. Hey, doc, how about um, 
for y'all, you know, take his numbers away. How about doing us a favor? Nine, ten, nine, let me put it this way. Eight times out of ten, because there are doctors out there with some a little bit of courage. That doctor's not going to, if it's a, especially if it's a young doctor starting his practice, he's going to turn you in. He's going to do what the government says to keep his practice. Not just even some older doctor say, hey man, I don't see what you're doing, what you're doing from. But if it's, a, if it's chances are it's a young doctor, he's going to do what the government says to have his practice. Because they will build, and the government will find ways where it'll take away your practice, where maybe it'll find little loopholes you didn't do, or bring in the IRS to investigate every little thing. Maybe you can cross your T on your name on your one return, and all of a sudden they mess with you. But I know for a fact it's gonna be, it's, this is going to be real trouble for regular schmucks like myself, who I may not agree with what the government does, but at the same time, we're not anti American. Or if you own a gun, I mean, instead of going after the crazies, you're going after the lazies. So, I mean, it's just, I don't agree with this, I don't agree with this at all. It's not 100 this, 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 he should have stopped it whenever he was like, what the, what the mentally ill, when he had that part of it. That's where he should have stopped. But he went a little overboard. And the fact remains is, I, I'm going with the NRA because they're protecting my second member. Matter of fact, I'm a, I'm a lifetime member. And if you know, and it, all you gotta do is pay your thousand dollars. I'm a lifetime member in NRA because you're not taking my guns for for no reason. Like if I'm around here threatening people, yeah, take my guns. I mean, I, I, I can see them out here. I can see them here like I'm gonna kill you or I'm gonna do this. I can see why one of these bad guys is gonna be on this this and the fifth. Hey, take my guns. But if I'm just a regular citizen, and I have a problem with what the government's doing, it doesn't give you the right to stop, tell my doctor. They take his guns from him. There is a little thing called the Constitution, which apparently a lot of these politicians use to wipe their ass with. They don't care about it. That's why you have these militia members in Oregon, and that's why you have these nutsos in Baltimore riot. The Constitution is being walked on by the government, but if you walk on the Constitution, all of a sudden you got these heroes in the government talking about you're anti American. Who is really anti American when you think about it? With that being said, that's just my little two cents for today. So I'm gonna get out of here, you know, like I said, this is a new year, or the year of the, of the um, executive order. It's a year when your first amendment rights are gonna be suppressed. It's a year when all you people are gonna end up in a FEMA tent. So just be careful, be vigilant, man. Have a good one, peace.